good morning dear students welcome to an another class on your ninth chapter <coughs> feast for the reds so students in the last class we have finished almost the half of the story and now i am going to continue with the remaining part of this so at first let me read out the story for all of you <clears throat> boy four they have run off with whatever you had in those bundles old man poor creatures they must have been very hungry other boys ha 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 that's right but they eat even if they are not hungry if there had been anything more they would have eaten that too old man had i known there would be so many rats traveling together in the train i would have brought more things to eat boy 1 whispers to boy 3 why isn't he angry boy 3 whispers back I don't understand. Silence falls. The boys look a little disappointed. They would have enjoyed seeing the old man lose his temper. Boy 3 looking out of the window. Oh, the train has stopped. It's the Bardhaman station. We have to change trains here. let us get off quickly old man boys i will not trouble you, trouble you any more i will find a seat in a separate coach on the next train boy one no no if you are taking that train you must travel with us boy two if you have anything left in the pots we will gird them boy four nothing will go missing this time old man all right boys i will travel with you you boys go ahead i will join you shortly scene three five boys and other passengers inside a coach of another train the boys are seated the train starts to move the old man comes in his arms full with packages of various sizes old man handing out the packages to the boys this time the rats can have a good feast they won't go hungry boys embarrassed thank you sir a mango seller comes along and the old man buys mangoes for everybody the boys cheer up boy too excuse me sir where are you going and for what purpose old man i am looking for a job i will go wherever i find work boy one what kind of work do you do old man i am a school teacher I teach Sanskrit. Boy too delighted. That's wonderful. Why don't you teach at our school, old man? Do you think your school will employ me, boys? They will have to employ you. We will not allow black pumpkin, red hot chili to enter the school premises. Old man, what if? The school secretary doesn't like me, boy one. If he doesn't like you, we will all leave the school and go away. Old man, very well, boys. Let us go to your school. Boy three, looking out of the window. Hey guys, we are almost here. Boy four, looking out of the window. Hey, isn't that the school secretary? Boy two, yes. it is 
wonder what he is doing here boy 5 he must have come to meet us and take us back to school the train comes to a halt the boys busy themselves getting their luggage out from the seats a man comes into the compartment it is the school secretary boys standing up and folding their hands good morning sir secretary looking at the old man good morning and welcome mr tarka longkar we are so happy to have you here sir your rooms are ready for you he bends down and touches the old man's feet so this is the remaining part of the story now let me uh, discuss you discuss with you the summary of this remaining part <clears throat> so in the last class we have read that all the five boys they were making fun of the name of their new sanskrit teacher that is kali kumar tarkalankar and when an elderly man boarded their train they emptied his pots which was full of sweets and they gave an excuse that rats had eaten his sweets <clears throat> now the old man was smiling and uh, by after hearing their answer they even told them that the rats must have been hungry that's why they have eaten all of them and if he had known that there were so many rats traveling together in the train then he would have brought some more things to eat then the boys were whispering among themselves that why that man was not um angry at all they were actually a little bit disappointed because they thought that now when the old man will uh, lose his temper then they will enjoy by seeing it then after some time the train stopped at bardhaman where the boys need to change their train the old man then told the boys that now he is not going to trouble at all in this new train then one of the boy told him that no they can uh, sorry he can join them if he is going in the same train then all the boys they left the earlier train and boarded the new train after some times the old man goes into the new compartment with some packages of various sizes and then he handled those packages to those boys and he also told that this time the rats can have good feast the boys were feeling embarrassed but they thanked him after some time a mango seller came there and the old man bought some mangoes for all the boys then one of the boy asked him that where was he going and for what he then told him that he was going in order to look uh, for a job then he told that he is a school teacher who teaches sanskrit then one of the boys asked him that why don't he teach at their school but the old man told that why will their school employ him the other boys told that they will not allow that black pumpkin and red hot chili to enter their school premises and if the school uh, doesn't allow this old man to enter the school then they all will leave the school after some time they saw that the train has reached their uh, place and they also noticed that the school secretary was waiting at the station at first they thought that why was he here and then they concluded that maybe the school secretary had came there to meet all of them then 
the boys bid good morning to the secretary and the secretary in return bid good morning to that old man and he called him as mr tarkalonkar he also told that he, they were very much happy to have mr tarkalonkar in their school and he bends down and touched the old man's feet so this is the end of the story and at last we found that um, the boys they were making fun of their new sanskrit teacher in front of the teacher itself and maybe it was not given at the end maybe they were very much embarrassed and scared when they got to know that that old man was uh, the new sanskrit teacher whom they were making fun of in front of himself only so students i hope that you have understood the story and there is no doubt but still if there is any doubt you can clarify the, your doubts in the offline classes so with it you are let me finish my today's class and in the next class i will give you the textual question answers from this chapter as for now this is the end of our today's discussion thank you so much for watching this video